Yo, what's good guys? It's Andrew from ProducerSociety.com. Today I'm talking to you about uh, what I think is the best keyboard, the best MIDI keyboard for GarageBand b beginners. Um, so what I think is the best one in terms of the price and everything, I would say that the Acorn Master Key 49 is probably the best. It's uh, this keyboard right here. Um, I can't say the price of it because I'll get banned from Amazon's affiliate program, so I can't say but it's easily the most inexpensive one that you can get. And it's also, what I like about it is the fact that it has the range that I want. So if you check out the article on my website, Producer Society, I talk about how, you know, the fact that it's 49 keys was kind of the reason why I got it. Um, I don't really care so much about the bells and whistles that other keyboards come with at the moment. Um, in other words, I don't really, like, I don't really care about having a drum pad and all that stuff. You know, maybe sometime in the future I'll get, an, you know, like an Akai Mini or something like that. But uh, I mostly just wanted it for the range so I could actually make uh, uh, melodies and, and uh, you know, piano riffs that have the uh, full range of the piano. So that was the main reason why I got it and why I didn't get it in a Kai Mini. Um, so in terms of uh, what this thing comes with, it's just a standard keyboard. You know, you got your pitch and modulation wheels. You got your octave. Uh, it adjusts between octaves. It's got a master volume on it. And it's also got... Uh, uh, it also has, it has like a sustained pedal port, also an on and off switch. Um, it's definitely worth mentioning that, you know, make sure you have the on and off switch selected on at all times. You can see the on and off switch right here. Um, the reason being is that, you know, if you go to plug this thing in and it's turned off, you're going to wonder, oh, what, why isn't this thing working? Um, so, you know, make sure you have that on because then you're just going to avoid complications in the future. But anyway, it comes with your USB to FireWire cable. You can see the, the, the thing here. Um, as I said in the article, if you have a new MacBook or you have a new computer of some kind, you're probably going to need the brand the the adapter that's that's uh, that's that's uh, USB to USB-C. Um, I recommend one of these right here. I linked to Amazon on the website. It's like a, an adapter like this. I mean, you might as well just get the multi-port adapter. You know what I mean? Because Ultimately, you know, if you have one of these new computers, you're, you're going to end up needing it anyway. So you might as well just you might as well just get a multi-port one. You know, the, the single port ones aren't that useful. They're they're kind of just annoying. Um, so I would I would recommend getting something like this. You don't have to get this specific one, but I think it's the best one to get um, in terms of the price, at least. Um, but yeah, uh, what what are some things I can mention about this thing? Uh, you know, ultimately the keys on it. Uh, they, they are velocity sensitive. So what that means is that if you hit, if you press on it lightly, it'll play the note lightly. And if you press on it hard, it'll play it hard. So it does have that velocity sensitivity of it. Um, the keys aren't weighted, so it doesn't have that realistic feel that a more expensive keyboard may have. But um, ultimately, it works fine for what it is. It, I have no issues with this keyboard at all. I think it's perfect for someone who wants to get their first MIDI keyboard and you want to really get a feel for music production. Uh, it's also got your rubber stops in the bottom to stop it from sliding around and all that. Um, so um, I have it plugged in right now. We're just going to do uh, a short tutorial on how this thing works. So I'm going to open this up. We want to use the software instrument. So yeah, as you can see, you got it's just a standard keyboard, right? You got your pit, your pitch bend, your pitch bend down here. You have a modulation thing right here, and also you have your master volume right here. It's actually not the master volume; it's the individual track fader. So if you can see what I'm doing right here, I'm just adjusting the the volume like this. So it controls that one. It doesn't control the master volume one though.
I'm actually gonna record that, I like that. But anyway, there, I mean, there's not much else to say about the keyboard, really. Um, I just, I just think it's the perfect one to get if you're, if you don't want to spend thousands or hundreds of dollars on a keyboard. Ultimately, this is gonna work fine for what you're doing. Um, but yeah, you know, make sure to uh, like and subscribe if uh, if this was helpful to you. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.